Again, we're working with Blender 2.78a. This is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the full playlist. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're doing some video editing. In the last video, I showed you how to um, do one type of fades using opacity. Today, we're going to be looking at some effects we can add to do different types of fades. So let's go into our video editor, also known as a sequence, sequence editor. I'm going to say add. I'm going to say movie. I'm going to go to my folder with my videos. I'm going to click here to see thumbnails, and I am going to select all these videos. I'm going to say to start at frame one to uh, use the frame rate of these videos for my project. And I'm going to uncheck sound because we don't need it for this video. I'm going to say add strips. I'm going to right click and I'm going to grab and overlap my videos like so. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab the first video by right clicking and then shift right click the next video. And then I'm going to say add effect and I'm going to go to cross. So now we're going to have a cross effect, a, uh, a dissolve effect here. So there you go. You can see as I scroll through here, it goes from one video to another. I'm going to right click this video, right click this video, and I'm going to say add effect to strip, and I'm going to say cross. And again, it now cross fades those videos. Now, one of the benefits on this over opacity is opacity I set key frames on this on this clip. Let's say I want to adjust this clip and I grab it this way you can see it automatically adjusts and how, how far overlapping they are is how long the fade will be. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing depending on your project. Um, so that's one thing. One thing you do need to look out for, I'm going to delete uh, these cross fades now. And I'll move this back is uh, you have to select your clips in the proper order. For example, if I right click this and then shift right click this and say add effects to a strip and say cross, now it's actually going to be fading from this video to this video since that's the video I picked first. So watch, I'm going to go frame by frame. I'm going to uh, zoom in here. You can just scroll to zoom in and out here uh, on your video. And I'm going to use the right arrows to go frame by frame, right and left arrows to go frame by frame through the timeline. But you see we have one video clip, but when we get to here, boom, it jumps to the second clip, fades back to the first clip, and then boom, jumps back to the second clip. And that has to do with the order I pick the clips in. So that's important to notice. So you don't want to go from the second to the first clip and add the effect. You want to right click, right click, uh, right click, shift right click, and then add the effect that way. Uh, so that is the cross effect. Now, you can also do this to fade to black or any other color. So if we go to, I'm going to hit shift left arrow to go to the first frame in my timeline, and I'm going to go add effect color, and it automatically adds a black color here. So it's just a black clip which we can change to any color over here with it selected. I can come over here to strip effects and I can make it, you know, any color on the color wheel that I, I want. Let's go ahead and leave it at black. Uh, and I can right click that, shift click that, add, and again cross. So it's the same thing. So now we'll be fading from black. So unlike the other one where it was fading uh, the, the opacity, which is really making it transparent, but would render out as black in most videos, you're actually fading from black. So if there was another video clip under this one, it wouldn't affect it. Um, and also, again, you can do different colors. Uh, in the past, I, I used to do uh, wedding videos, and lots of times it'd be nice to fade from white. And, you know, it's a wedding, so white's nice. But you can do any color, or even still images, uh, uh, if you were to add an image, which I don't have any ready for this tutorial, but you can add an image that way. So that's the, the cross a fade effect. I do hope that you enjoyed this, this video. I hope you're enjoying this series. As always, I hope that you uh, visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.